Today I'm actually at a location I've never photographed before. It's an island that just runs off the end of the town I live in. Um, and I thought it'd be really cool to come and actually check it out and take photos. Generally, I am taking photos of the island within the background of most of my landscape shots. And yeah, the island is full of evergreens, so there's some really nice colors in here. The sun is out, there's some clouds around, so I'm getting some nice uh, colors casting over onto the trees. So I thought I'd come and check it out and see what I can find. So, yeah, I'm just going to carry on heading in, see what compositions I can come up with, because right now I don't really know. And sometimes not knowing is kind of fun. I found these two trees that had fallen over here in the ground. Um, what you're seeing, it doesn't look that great, um, but the sun is just in the background through the trees there. And when, when the sun comes out through the clouds and goes through the gap of the trees, it makes this really nice light on these trees that are falling over here because there's nice green moss that's over the trees. And I just think it could be a really, really nice shot. So I think my plan is to take a shot from the one end so I'm going to stick my tripod on the, the end there and then take like a really low shot against it so you can basically get a leading line with the tree um, and then kind of go towards the sunlight. So I've got my shot nicely laid out here. Um, so I'm just getting the tree coming in. And I've got it set down to ISO 100. Um, but I'm just waiting for the, 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 I'm just waiting for the sun to come through a little bit more so I get a shine on the, on the tree here. I'm gonna shoot this at around F5.6 because I still want it to blur out a little bit in the background. I kind of like the focus on the front here. Um, and it is a little bit darkish in here, even though I'm getting the sunlight coming through. So I'm going to set this at around uh, 1 20th of a second and take a shot like that. Okay, so now just waiting for the sun to come back out because basically right now when the sun comes out, I get this really nice beam of light running across the moss there, and it looks quite stunning. Um, so right now all I have to do is wait, and then I can get the shot. this absolutely beautiful light just coming through the trees here and you can just see it just coming through here and it's just lighting up the grass that's in the foreground here and there's like spider webs and stuff going through I'm not sure if I can capture the spider webs but I'm at least gonna set my tripod down here I think I'm gonna put my aperture quite high up because I want to get a lot of detail out of this and I'm getting the Sun so I kind of want to get a Sun star out of it so I'm gonna put this at around f16 which means I have to really drop my shutter speed down. I could raise my ISO, but I want to keep 
as much detail as possible. So I got my ISO at 100 and I'm going to set my shutter speed to around one eighth of a second. I think that should do it. Um, obviously right now I'm getting a lot of the grass in and then some trees in the background with the sun coming through. So I think I'll set my focus around the center of the image. I think that should be good enough because then I will get good depth from the front and from behind as well. So it seems fine at f16 but uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to actually bump it up to f18. Just give it a little bit more of a boost. And I'm actually going to drop it down to one tenth of a second. really happy I actually came out today. I wasn't expecting there to be such a nice sky. The sun here is just really beautiful coming through all these trees and everything. It looks absolutely stunning. Um, so far yes I found two compositions I kind of liked um, but in general in a kind of foresty and rocky situation it isn't always easy to spot an image and, and just like notice something, you know? Wow, so I found this absolutely stunning spot here. Um, the sun is shining over the water in the background and getting this nice arching tree going down into the water. There's still a lot of ice, like just broken ice within the water, which can really add to a nice image. Um, and then you're even getting these nice little, this tall water grass here. And just, just the scene in general is stunning. There's an absolutely beautiful light. So you know what? I'm going to take a shot. And because of how the tree is, I think I'll probably take a low shot to get the ice in the water. But as it looks right now, I'll get a shot just like that. Okay, so I've got my tripod down low to the ground now and I'm kind of, it's, it's really stunning, stunning view. Uh, I got these ch two chunks of ice just in the front here. So I've got one that's just here, just in front of the, the, the camera. And then I have another chunk of ice that's just in the front here that's going into the water. So I'm basically um, Focusing, focusing just beyond that chunk of ice that's going into the water and I'm gonna set it at around f um, oh, let's see I'm gonna set it at around f 20 actually or 22 I'm gonna send it around f 20 and then I've got it at ISO 100 and I think I'll set it at around 1 30th of a second because now I'm getting the background in all the way onto the back. There's another mountain in the background with the sun just glaring across it. There's kind of like this misty look and got the water and everything. Everything just looks really nicely detailed. So at 1 30th of a second, F20 and ISO 100.
All right, so that's me done for today. I got three shots that looked pretty good. The sun has been excellent today. I, I wasn't really expecting it. It was pretty much dark and gloomy just before I came out. And as I got here, the sun just opened up and I got some beautiful colors out of it. And yeah, now the sun is going down. So there's not that much light left. Happy with what I got. And yeah. I'm actually glad I came out today. It would be really nice if you guys could let me know what you liked about the video, anything you guys would like to see. And yeah, just, it'd be nice to have a chat. And if you guys liked the video, leave me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.